everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to bridge the communication gap for the real success of a sale. Clear and effective communication is the lifeblood of success. In order to have a good communication with the customers, we must have a sales team in the company. A sales team is a group of individuals who sells company's product to the customers. They are responsible for meeting the company's business growth. Now let's see how can we manage a sales team. So if you want to view all the sales team that are currently available for the sales of my company San Francisco, you can just go to the orders and let's choose sales. Here you can find all the team over here. Now let's create a new team from the scratch. Or let's uh, choose the team from here. So I'm going to deal with the team North America where you can set the name of the uh, team and we know every team will have a team leader. You can also set an invoicing target of the sales team. So invoicing target would always allow to boost the company's financial potential. Now if you want to add the salesperson to a sales team you can just click on add button and that would allow you to add salesperson. So currently we have one salesperson who is Mark Demo. Now let me move on to the orders and let's create a quotation. So here you can choose the customer. My customer is Deco Addict who is placing the order for Equestic Block Screen. So currently uh, we can see that we don't have sufficient quantity. So let me move on and let's create uh, or update the quantity. So let me update the quantity over here. Okay. Let's move on to the quotation that we are dealing with and we have an order of 5 quantity and you also need to ensure that you are setting the proper sales team under the uh, other info. So here you can see that the sales team is uh, sales and we need to set it as North America. So as you choose the team, uh, the salesperson will be automatically configured. So Michelle Admin is a salesperson who is dealing with multiple sales team. So here you can see the salesperson or the team leader will be automatically configured uh, over here once you choose the sales team. Now you can save this and let's confirm the order. So once you confirm the order, you can just make the delivery of the item uh, to the customer. So let's click on validate button that would allow you to just deliver the item. Now we can also create an invoice. So let me create an invoice for this item. So once you create an invoice and confirm the invoice, uh, you can just request for the payment and after reconciliation, payment will be moving to the bank currently. This is in paid state. Yeah, because the customer has paid the money. So um, now let's move on to the orders and let's choose the sales team where you can find um, the target is 10K and currently the team has just achieved 1k and if you want to just get the sales analysis you can just get that and you can use different measures so you can get the sales team analysis with different measures and you can also represent this um, report with different representations of charts now let's move on to the orders and uh, consider the quotation so here we can also have a good and effective communication with the customers to have a successful sale. So in order to manage that, you can set the activity. So if you want to just deal with the activity or if you want to just create a new activity, just move on to the configuration and you can see activity type where you can create different activity. So let me choose uh, the activity email. And here you can see that if you just want to create a new one, you have to provide the name of the activity as well as we can perform different actions. The action can be none or upload a document or phone call or anything. And you can also set the default user who is going to deal with the activity. So here Michelle Admin will be dealing with the activity and if you want to choose a particular model uh, to be applied for this activity, you can set the model. So if you're keeping this field as null, you can choose any of the model. And here you can also provide the default summary, like what uh, activity is going to be, pro uh, I mean, uh, proposed for the customer. So we will be making a discuss proposal. So you can just give um, the default summary. Okay. And uh, 
if you want to just set any decorative type or anything as you can set that and you can also set uh, the triggering of ne next activity like Udo uh, have two options like uh, suggest next activity once this activity is done or to trigger next activity. So here you can uh, just use suggest next activity and you can also schedule the uh, deadline of this um, activity type. Now let me move on to the orders and here you can choose the activity. So here you can schedule an activity with the customer. So uh, here you can see we have list of activities and I'm going to choose email and as I choose the email the summary will be automatically configured here and if you want to log any other nodes you can just uh, set that and you can directly schedule or schedule and mark as done and make it done and uh, schedule next one and we have different options. Now I'm going to schedule the um, yeah activity so here you can see that as we choose the activity Odo will be configuring the activity over here uh, with different icons and uh, that shows what is meant by that activity. Okay, by showing the default summary. Now, if you want to set multiple activities for a single sale order, it is very possible to set that in Odo. So, let's move on to the configuration and here we have activity plan. So, activity plan is nothing but that would allow you to create multiple activities for a single plan so let's uh yeah contact the customer with different activity so all those help to bridge a uh, robust communication with the customer so a communication with a customer will, would always uh, make the customer relax and more trustable with the business so here you can choose the type so let uh, one be the to do activity other one be the uh, calling activity and you can choose uh, uh, meeting so you can also assign uh, something like uh, ask at lunch or you can choose any other options okay so here I'm going to set it as uh, to do okay fine now you can save this so if you want to add the summaries you can set that um, and you, if you want to um, yeah set an assigned person to this so that person will be dealing with the activity and if you want to just provide any log notes you can provide over here now uh, let's move on to the orders and let's consider a sale order so i'm going to choose the sale order and when you just click on here you can just click on schedule an activity as we have just created a plan and we can choose that plan from here so as you choose the plan, you can see that the plan summary will be showing here, which means we can set multiple activity for a single sale order and you can also plan the date. So let me set uh, the date over here and let's schedule it. So as you uh, just uh, plan that, that will be shown under here. So you can view everything under the chatter, like the planned activities. So once uh, uh, an activity is done, you can just click it as mark as done. And here you can just provide uh, any feedbacks um, and uh, click as done and you can schedule that. Okay, so this is how we bridge the communication for, I mean, bridge a real communication for the success of the sales. I hope this concept is clear for you as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.